solve linear equations. We're going to solve these linear equations. What that means is I want x by itself. I want x equal to something. Okay. So when I look here, I don't have x by itself on this side of the equal sign. I have a plus 6. So what I do is I do the opposite of what I see. If I'm adding 6, I'm going to subtract 6 because that will eliminate the 6 or get rid of it. But if I do it to the left side of the equation or the left side of the equal sign, I have to do it to the right side also. I have to keep this equation balanced. Now when I add down, I'll have x, 6 minus 6 is 0, equals 9 minus 6 is 3. Well, x plus 0 is just x, so I get x equal to 3. Now, I want to check my answer. I want to make sure that this is correct. So I write my original equation, x plus 6 equals 9, and I know what x is. x is 3. So since x is 3, I'm going to say 3 plus 6 equals 9, and 9 equals 9. Since that tr is true, I know that I did this right, and x is actually, x equals 3 is actually my answer. So let's go to the next one. Once again, I want x equal to something. Now, I have x minus 3. The opposite of subtracting 3 or minus 3 is adding 3. But remember, I have to do it to both sides of the equal sign because I need to keep my equation balanced. When I add down, I get x plus 0 equals 4 because 1 plus 3 is 4. x plus 0 is simply x, and that equals 4. Remember, it's a good idea to check your answers to make sure that it's correct. So my original equation is x minus 3 equals 1. Well, we decided that x equals 4, so let's put 4 in for x. 4 minus 3 equals 1. 4 minus 3 is 1, so 1 equals 1, and I know that I did those correct. Let's look at a couple more that are a little more complicated. Let's solve these two linear equations. Now remember, when I mean solve, I want x equal to something. I want it by itself. So I want 2x to be sitting over here by itself for now. So if I have a plus 3, I do the opposite of what I see. I'm going to subtract 3. Now remember, you do it to both sides of the equal sign. We need to keep this equation balanced. When I add down, I have 2x plus 0, because 3 minus 3 is 0, equals 5 minus 3 is 2. Well, 2x plus 0 is simply 2x, so 2x equals 2. Now, I still need to get x by itself. So when I have a number and a letter next to each other, that means to multiply. The opposite of multiplying is dividing, and I divide by the number that's in front of the variable. So if I divide by 2 on the left side, I have to divide by 2 on the right side. Now remember, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I get 1x equals, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. Well, 1x is the same thing as just x by itself. So I get x equals 1. Now, let's check that, just to make sure that we're right. I'm going to have 2 times x, I'm going to leave a little space there for my x, plus 3. And that should equal 5 if I'm correct. Well, x is 1, so I'm going to put a 1 in there. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 should equal 5 if we're right. Well, 2 plus 3 is 5, and 5 equals 5, so I know that this is my solution. Let's look at the next one. The same rule applies. I want to get x by itself. I want it to get x equal to something. So I want to get him by himself for right now. If I see subtract 8, I want to do the opposite of subtracting, which is adding. Now remember, I need to do that to both sides of the equal sign to keep it balanced. When I add down, I get 4x plus 0 equals 16. Well, 4x plus 0 is the same thing as 4x equals 16. Now once again, when I have a number and a letter next to each other, it means to multiply. So I'm going to do the opposite of multiplying, which is dividing. So I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides of the equal sign. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so I have 1x. And 16 divided by 4 is 4. Well, 1x is the same thing as x, so I get x equals 4. Once again, I want to check to make sure that I did this correctly. 
So I'm going to have 4 times x, so I'm going to leave a parenthesis, minus 8. And if I'm correct, that should equal 8. Well, x is 4, so I'm going to put 4 in there. 4 times 4 is 16, minus 8. And if I'm correct, it should equal 8. It's kind of a question mark there. Well, 16 minus 8 is 8. And since 8 equals 8, I know I'm right. And so x equals 4 is a solution to this linear equation. We're going to solve this linear equation. Now, remember, solve means I want to get the variable, in this case, y, by itself, equal to a number. Well, when we have a parentheses, remember, we're going to be using the distributive property. So I need to take 2 times everything within the parentheses. So 2 times y is 2y. 2 times a positive 4 is a positive 8, and it's going to equal 6. Now I want to get my 2y by itself. So I have a positive 8. The opposite of adding 8 is subtracting 8. So remember, to keep the equation balanced, I need to subtract 8 from both sides. So when I add down, I get 2y. 8 minus 8 is 0, equals 6 minus 8 is negative 2. Well, 2y plus 0 is the same thing as 2y equals negative 2. Now, a letter and a number next to each other means multiply. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I'm going to divide by 2. I divide by whatever the number is in front of the variable. But if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other side. Well, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I have 1y equals negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Well, 1y is the same thing as just y, so I get y equals negative 1. So let's make sure that I'm correct. So we're going to check this. So I'm going to write the equation 2. I'm going to leave a space for my y plus 4 should equal 6. Well, my y is negative 1, so I'm going to put negative 1 in there. Um, we're going to follow the orders of operation, so I have to do what's in parentheses first. So I'm going to have 2 times negative 1 plus 4 is 3, and that, if we're correct, should equal 6. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, since 6 equals 6, I know I did it right, and this is the solution. Be sure to check out www.piecrust.com for all kinds of free worksheets with the solutions.